Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. Today we're going to look at loading data from an ODBC data source. So we'll first start out. We're going to open a new ClickView document. And then uh, to bring data in, we'll need to go to the script editor. So we can either do that here with the script editor button, or we can go to File and then Edit Script. The script editor window will pop up. And now we need to go down to the section down at the bottom where we select our data sources and we're going to connect to an ODBC data source. So we need to make sure ODBC is selected here and then we hit the connect button. In my case, I'm going to connect to an MS Access database. Click OK. And I'm going to select this MS Access database right here and click OK. So now ClickView for me writes out the connection string that I need. And all I need to do now is select the tables I'd like. So to do that, I click on the Select button. And now this window pops up. I'm showing the tables that are in my data source, as well as the fields within each table. So maybe we'll select Customers. And I can either select individual fields, or I can select, select all the fields by the Star button. I've also checked the preceding Load button down here. And that's going to help me uh, when I do any ETL processes in the future. So I recommend you check that. We'll click Add, and then we'll click OK. And ClickView goes out and for me writes the script required to pull in this data source. So up at the top here is the preceding load, and then below is the actual SQL statement. I can now reload the document by pushing the Reload button. ClickView will ask me to uh, save the file, so I'll just save it here. And then I'll click Save. ClickView goes out executes the statement, brings all the data into memory, and then returns my sheet properties uh, window here. I can now select the fields that I'd like to bring in. I can select some of them or all of the fields. Maybe we'll select city, contact name, country, and customer. We'll add that data in and click OK. I now have four list boxes created, and I can see right away that all this data is associated together with a ClickView associative model. So for example, if I click on Albuquerque, I can see who the customer is, who the contact name is, and the country that Albuquerque is in. Similarly, if I select on Canada, I can see all my customers and cities associated with Canada. That includes ClickView tips and tricks for today. Thank you very much for listening, and please do check out our community site as well as contact our partners and expert services for additional information.